I christen the United States ship Gerald R. Ford. May God bless the ship and all who sail her. It's a lots and lots of people, uh, a lot of hardworking people, um, and they all work together as a team just to put together an incredible site uh, and a, a beautiful atmosphere for the shipbuilders and all the guests that come. It really takes a lot of people from all across the shipyard. We all come together and make it happen, and we make magic, I think. Ceremony. Uh, we set up all the barges, platforms, steps, stairs, access for people getting on and off the site safely. Well, we had all of our vendors come in to support us on these outfits, and it usually will take a good five days to get everything set up uh, with about 12 hour days. And then when you have about 13,000 chairs to set up, it's pretty busy days. I think weather is the biggest challenge. That's the one thing that we can't control. I think everything else there's a solution for, and the people that, uh, that work here are good at coming up with solutions to any problem. See, I... <laughs> We have more than 200 volunteers who will be attending the event and helping us uh, making sure all of our guests have a great time and make it a memorable experience. We're showcasing our product. We're, what the customer wants, we're going to give it to him. And we, we dress it up like it's going to be when she goes to see. I mean, it's, it's quite impressive. It really takes a village. Um, we have X32 from the ship doing all the decoration shipboard for us. I have my team, O43. We're setting up the electrical service. And really the biggest part in setting this site up has been X36. All the lifting and handling that we need to do to get the large components in place. It, it does take the efforts of many and uh, a lot of patience. There's a whole social media window to this thing that wasn't there before. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, live stream, you know, a lot of people are really excited about this ship and so, you know, to really go out and say, tell us that you're excited and tell us that you, how you feel about it is a whole new dimension to, you know, these events. So a lot of our work is going to come after the ceremony, you know, communicating how the event went and what happened. and getting the photos out there and uh, just letting everyone know how, how great the ship is. Forty-four pieces of transportation, different, uh, we have 22 gold buses, five handicapped minivans, 12 red, white, and blue, and four red, white, blue, and pink vans. Safety is our key feature all the time in this, it's just making sure everybody goes home safe after the event. I coordinate the logistics for the Navy band's participation in making sure that they arrive on time and have all the right security, the order of the ceremony, when to play, when to stop, and what songs to play. Gerald Ford was the only president to ever be an Eagle Scout. Uh, because of the link be between President Ford and, and Scouts, we're having 78 flags will be paraded by uh, Scouts and you just see um, the emotion and the joy and the um, honor it brings to the shipbuilders to be involved and to see an incredible event for um, an amazing ship that they have spent so many years working on. My favorite part is Saturday morning when Jennifer takes her position and everything kind of quiets down, we're ready to start the show. And I know that the site is as close to 100% as we can possibly make it, and that my team has given it all that they've got for the history that we're going to be making when that bottle cracks that breaker bar. 
for me, just you know, seeing the look of pride on the shipbuilders' faces, um, them getting to bring their families in and to see what they build, seeing the hard work of the team come together, it, you know, it's a lot to do for an hour and a half ceremony, but it's totally worth it.